Commodore Lenore, Salesian High School, class of 2017, wide receiver DB. Raheem Johnson, Salesian High School, class of 2017, outside linebacker, four-year varsity player. Nick Pickett, 2017, <laughs> receiver and safety, three-year varsity player. Robbie Blosser, class of 2017, uh, three-year varsity player, quarterback. Euro Blackshear, class of 2017, running back DB, four-year varsity player. My biggest goal is to lead the state in interceptions. My team goal is to win a championship. My biggest goal this year is to lead my league in sacks, and my team goal is to have an undefeated season. My goal this year is to lead the, uh, the league in tackles and knock a couple helmets off. My goal this year is to lead the state in passing yards and passing touchdowns, and uh, just give my team the best opportunity to win, and that's what we're going to do this year. So, looking forward to it, and, uh, win and then winning a championship as well. My biggest goal this season is to score at least twice a game and have a 250 rushing yard uh, game. And my team goal is to go undefeated and take home the championship. We play against Cathedral. It's a big rivalry game. Uh, it'll be a lot of competition, you know, knowing that they have guys that's ready to play. We have guys, so it'll be a good, it'll be a good matchup. Later in the season, you know, we got the purple team down the street. Um, it's, you know, that's a rivalry game for us. Uh, we got to get some get back on them. You know, they got some guys that's going to come ready to play, and we're going to bring our guys ready to play. So it should be a great game. We have Cathedral later on this season. Uh, There's always a lot of competition, a lot of excitement from the crowd in both teams. I'm just coming ready to play with my team. So we're going to be playing Cathedral later on in the season. It's a big rivalry game. Um, they got us last year, but this year is going to be a totally different story. And uh, you can trust me on that. It's going to be a good game and we're gonna come out ready to go. We play Cathedral later on this season. They got us last year, but that won't happen this year. We're coming ready. I know they're gonna come ready, but we want it more, so we're gonna get that W. The coach that helped me the most was uh, Coach D, Devon Thomas. You know, he's been recruiting me since eighth grade. You know, he told me he was gonna get me to college, and he ain't failed me yet. So the coach that's had the biggest influence on me, uh, you know, my pops, Coach D, he's been there for me since the eighth grade. Uh, you know, he told me he was going to help me get to college. He's done that. Well, he's doing that, you know. Also, I got to give it up to Coach Atkins. Um, he helped me make the switch from receiver to linebacker. You know, that's really helped me a lot. So, you know, those two guys have really been there for me, and I really appreciate them. Coach D has been a coach that helped me uh, my recruitment take off ever since I transferred from Bosco. I've just been working hard to get where I am today. I have to say a coach that's helped me a lot um, at our school is uh, Coach Travis, Coach Travis Hanna. Uh, he's like always been there for me since I was like in middle school. I've known him for a long time and uh, just offensive coach and um, he's always helped me and I owe a lot of respect to him. Coach that's made the biggest impact on me at Salesian is Coach D. He took me in from as soon as I got a Pop Warner and he helped me. He gave me a shot to play varsity in ninth grade. And I, I didn't feel I didn't feel him, and he hasn't felt me either. He's helping me get looked at all across the country, so I just want to thank him. I got a lot of respect for him. One thing I've been working on this all season was my off coverage. I like to give a big shout out to Coach Herb and Coach Ely. They've been on me, helping me with the three step and the weave, and opening my hips quick. I like to give a big shout out to them. What I've really worked on this off season is my pass rush. And you know, I got to give a shout out to Coach Atkins, Ashley Palmer, and my linebacker coach, Coach Mike. You know, they've really been with me all summer since the season ended, you know, going over it, working on it, uh, just, you know, getting out, using my hands, my speed. So, you know, I got to appreciate them and I thank them. And uh, some special things gonna happen this season. One thing I worked on during the off season is just getting back in the room to playing safety full time. Uh, learning all the plays, getting my IQ up on the defensive side, and uh, practicing my man coverage, uh, playing off impression. I'm slowly getting better at that, but I'm still progressing. Uh, this offseason, I just worked on a lot of, um, you know, with my reads and the playbook, just learning the playbook more and uh, understanding the offense. And I'm uh, just going over with my head coach um, and just tying my drops with the with the plays and the reads. It's supposed to be going really well. And um, like we're offense is clicking. I think we're gonna be we're ready for the season and uh, just take on anyone that comes at us. This all season, what I worked on the most was my speed and uh, explosion. Because I've been hitting the beach, you know, taking some yoga classes, Pilates and all that. So I had to uh, I had to open my, I get loose and open my hips up. So it's been helping me out and I feel a whole different, uh, whole different vibe in my play. 
week one, we opened up with Verbum Day. We plan to dominate and execute. You know, offense coming ready, defense coming ready. So you know the squad ready. So week one, we open up with Verbum Day. Uh, man, we coming out to handle business. You know, the defense is coming out hitting. The offense is putting up a lot of points. We just gonna try to uh, execute. Uh, you know, and do what we came to do, handle business. Our first game, we opened up with Verbum Day. Uh, we just going to go out there and compete, have fun, get the game, uh, just take over any way possible, come out with a W. First game we played Verbum Day, uh, we just plan on coming out there and executing. And uh, offense is firing all, on all cylinders, and um, defense is going to come out there and play hard and just uh, do what we've been preparing for all summer. We opened up with Verbum Day, first game. We prepare for anything, everything. We just gonna go, go out there, have fun, work hard, and uh, get the W. My first experience playing Madden, it wasn't this one, but it was Madden 08. You know, I got beat by like 30, punting on first down and stuff. I didn't really know what I was doing. You know, my first experience with Madden, I'm not even sure which number it was, but I know Mike Vick was on the cover. That's when all you want to do is run with the quarterback. Uh, I don't think I was that good back then. Probably still ain't now, but you know, it's fun to play. My first experience playing Madden when I was like five or six years old, playing with my brother and my cousins. Uh, one time I, I thought I was playing, but the controller wasn't plugged in. So I was just wondering why I wasn't scoring or nothing, but I was still weak at that age. So I'm a little bit better now. Uh, my first um, memory playing Madden was a uh, Madden 09 with Brett Favre in the cover. Um, I remember just playing with uh, friends and stuff, and uh, just always beating them. Like I was always good at Madden. And, uh, I always played a lot. I like playing online and stuff, so just playing people. My first experience with Madden was probably uh, I think Madden 2005 with Ray Lewis on the cover. I wasn't that good. I didn't really know how to play. I was putting on first down and stuff, but now I'm a whole lot better. Um, I run it with anybody. My first time seeing D1 Bound was at a Cathedral game two years ago. Well, we were actually playing Cathedral, and then I blast somebody, number seven from Cathedral, and I got up and I saw a Salesian alumni with a D1 Bound shirt on. My first time seeing or hearing about D1 Bound, I was in the ninth grade uh, when I had just I had just came into Salesian. And we had Jamar Dre Cobb and Marquise Ware, and they used to always have like the shirts and the jackets and stuff. So I didn't really know, like, I thought, you know, it was just somewhere they bought it or something. And then I used to always, like, I used to take Cobb shirts, but they was always too big for me. And then uh, uh, Kat uh, started getting me some shirts and some stuff. So that was my first time hearing about D1 Bound. My first time hearing about D1 Bound was on. Uh, in, in ninth grade, so I'm on Twitter, so I wanted to interview, so I just checked it out. Ever since then, I've been following them on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, they come to our tournaments and our games, so he's still around now. My first time hearing about D1 Bound was uh, ninth grade, um, like in the spring. When I was going to Vegas for the seven on seven tournament. That's like the first time I really heard about uh, D1 Bound. I saw like everything in the tents and everything like that, and the shirts. And um, like, I remember getting my first hat, like. Really cool gear and all kinds of good stuff. My first time seeing or hearing about D1 Bound, I went to uh, I went to Jermaine Kelly and Jahad Virtue their signing day, and I was there with Coach D before I got to Salesian. And I seen them there; they were interviewing and talking to him, and I was like, "Man, I need to be doing that when I get a senior. I need to I need to have them in my signing day." So I've been following them, cop their gear, and uh, I support them.